High five, Legion. We are back, Mass Effect. All right, so let's continue. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Hopefully we won't have any more technical difficulties like I've had. Let's see if I can break into this. We'll do a real quick save. Go. Yeah. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh not enough omni jail. Well, I can fix that. Hold on. Let's see. That's a starter rifle, so we will turn that into jail. Uh, we got a couple Hurricane Ones. So we got to turn that. 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 See, I can't wear heavy armor. Oh, I can't wear heavy armor. What armor? I don't know. I'm confused. Uh, what armor am I wearing? Light armor. Can you do it again? Yes, I can do it again. Okay. Oh, whoa, it auto did it. 25. Ooh, pause it if you wanted to read that. Sorry. I already know what it says. Quick save. Like a bunny. Who? Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Quick, Did save. Ambassador I'm Udina boy. send you? I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious. Always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? And if this was still back in the early 90s... Late, early 90s, no, late 90s, early 2000s, Pi would have meant something totally different. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? But not all Spectres are like Saren. True. But the potential is always there. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. 
I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Bada bang, bada boom. Quick save. There's so many things to look at. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? You know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger-than-average stir among the diplomats and hangers-on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this <clears throat> one's. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Flux sounds like we'll find the smell of cheap booze and hookers like I talked about in previous episodes. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Okay. Oh, you guys are in my way. What the wrench toast? Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right. Sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Hello, smiley face. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. That sounded quite arrogant. Don't mind me, quick. I go, I'm gonna be quick saving a lot because I had a crash and I had to start over the recording of one of these episodes. So, yeah. So, I say we go see. the consort. Actually, is there anything scannable down here? Let's go see. We'll go down here, check what's down here. Whoa. I really want to try to get the, uh... Oh. That's C-Sec Academy. That's red. We can't go... Oh, that's some is elevated to the Academy. Okay. I would like to see if I can get the controller to work with the game. There is a mod that I can install that will let me use the controller because I am so much better with the controller than keyboard. I can't stand using the keyboard for games like this. Oh, who's this? Hello? Let me... Okay. No, no. Target. Target the... Dude! See, this is what I hate. It won't let me freaking target him. I gotta walk all the way over here. I had the guy targeted for a second, but now it won't let me. Is there another way to, like, move my targeting? Okay, this pisses me off. How am I supposed to be able to target and do stuff if I can't target the other players? Or the other... NPCs. 
I'm blocked. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't him. It was a C-Sec. Okay. Alright, it wasn't him. Now I just feel stupid. Do I actually run faster or does it just move the camera? Where the heck is the consort? Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the Financial District, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Tell me more about the Krogan Rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other Council species. The Krogan Rebellions had begun. For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni, then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's going to stop the Turians? I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. For now. What were the Rachni Wars? Nearly 2200 years ago, explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race, the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Alright, and um, let's see. I don't know if this was really making me move faster, because I mean, if you look, it doesn't seem like a, it just moves my camera and gives motion blur. I don't know. Why? What do they want? How should I know? 
It's not like keepers offer an explanation for what they're doing. And yet, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. Which... Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the Consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the Consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, mm, three or four months. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I already did. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Melina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Interesting. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. As a truck drives along the station. Wait, what? That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Um, yeah. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Alright, so we need to go to Chora's Den. 
There's so many, there's so many trucks that drive along the station. I, have to I really don't know if you can hear the vehicles that are driving down my street uh, through the microphone or not, but... <sighs> Sometimes you just want to punch them in the vertical face. Uh, is it in the ward? I, ward? I don't know. To the wards. Yep, this is the direction we want to go this way. Oh, I can't go here? Oh. Okay, I guess we gotta go talk to the council before we start doing any of the side quests. So let's go talk to the council. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. I forgot where I need to go. Where am I supposed to go? Savina. Consort. Whoops. Yes, I know. I want to go to the... Bank Emporium. Oh, to the tower. Right over that way. Okay. Alright. We gotta go that way. No, no. No, 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 I did not want to do that. Stop. What? Oh. I accidentally hit one and started using my biotic powers on the station. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. What the heck is that? Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? It is Please a skitter. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the Spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. I'd like to know more about the Keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the Keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the Tower. Any particular reason there are so many Keepers in this area? The Keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the Tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the Keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The Keepers also make frequent appearances in the Council Chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. Tell me more about the Relay Monument. Discovered by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the Relay Monument is one of the station's most interesting and controversial features. What is the meaning behind this striking piece of art? Is it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A reminder of their conquest of the galaxy through mass relay technology? Or perhaps it is a symbol of unity? A Prothean acknowledgement that the relays would eventually lead other species here to the Citadel. No one can say for sure making the Relay Monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. Tell me about the Citadel Tower. Housing both the Council Chambers and Citadel Control, the Tower is one of the most important buildings on the station. 
Access to these areas is restricted to those with the appropriate clearance. What happens in Citadel Control? Citadel Control handles all incoming and outbound transit. Every ship within 2,000 kilometers of the Citadel is under the jurisdiction of Citadel Control. At peak capacity, they are responsible for monitoring upwards of a thousand vessels. I'd like to hear more about the Council Chambers. The business of the Council, which often has far-reaching effects on the galactic community, is conducted in a room at the apex of the Citadel Tower. The Council Chambers themselves are truly a magnificent sight to behold, though few get to experience the view in person. Typically, only the counselors, ambassadors, and high-ranking officials, along with various support staff, are allowed access. What if someone has business with the council? The average citizen must go through the proper channels if they wish an audience with the council. This is usually arranged through their respective ambassadors. Even then, few are given access to the actual council chambers. In most cases, the ambassador acts on behalf of the citizen. <laughs> Bureaucratic red tape is what it sounds like. I'm scheduled to have an audience with the Council. Only a handful of visitors to the Citadel are ever granted that privilege. I would be jealous, but that is outside the scope of my programming. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Ha Please do not disturb the Keepers. Please do not disturb the Keepers. Lol, I want to touch this Keeper. Let me touch this Keeper. Okay. The dreaded elevator ride of doom. I think we'll do that in the next episode. Elevator ride of doom. So we'll see you in the next episode, Legion. Quick save and goodbye.